One of my favorite quotes by Oscar Wilde goes like this, and all at once, summer collapsed into fall. I spent two beautiful months in Paris and was able to witness the changing of the seasons and it was truly such a special experience and I hope I was able to capture some of that and show you what autumn is like in Paris. Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I hope it hasn't been too long since I last uploaded, but if it has, I hope you've been well. It is almost the end of October, which is kind of crazy. Autumn is in full swing here in Paris. It is my first time to witness it, and it's been such a joy. I feel like it just creates an added layer of romance to it. I can't quite explain it or describe it so I figured I'd rather show you guys and take you along with me and show you a bit of my love letter to Paris in autumn. I'm currently at Place Vosges, which is one of my favorite, favorite spots here in the city. It is apparently the oldest planned square in Paris and as so many people would agree, the prettiest one. I thought it would be such a great spot to revisit with the gorgeous yellow leaves. And I actually was here last month and I started a painting and never finished it. So I am determined to finish that today and it's been so long that the leaves were still green so i figured today would be a wonderful day to do some plan air painting and enjoy the nice autumn vibes <laughs> The funny thing is that I couldn't finish it last month because it was so cold. I think it might have hit 40s by that time. And now it's the end of October and it is almost 70s. It's so weird. This is my first time painting in a very long time and I was truly struggling a lot, but I finished it. And it is in no means perfect, but it is done and it is mine and that was the most important thing for me. I just love this bookstore so much. I actually met Penelope who is the owner of the bookstore and she's just the sweetest. She actually asked me for my opinion on the bookshelf design. She was telling me that she really likes listening to what the customers have to say and that really shows in her bookstore and the book selections. I figured I'd do a little bit of a book haul right here in the side of the street because why not? First I got the tote bag which I absolutely love and I also got the little prince for my mom who is a preschool teacher and then for me I got before the coffee gets cold which is something I wanted to read for so long and I have heard nothing but good things about and I'm gonna head over to the Luxembourg garden to read my new book Before the Coffee Gets Cold is about a magical coffee shop in Tokyo that allows its patrons to go back in time just as long as they come back before their coffee gets cold 
I give this book three and a half stars. It is short, but so bittersweet with the most interesting premise. Although the writing style might not be everyone's cup of coffee, not quite sure if it's the translation from Japanese or the writing itself, but otherwise, I really did enjoy it and can recommend it to others. Okay, I totally got sidetracked. I stumbled across this English bookstore called Smith & Son. It looks really good. And I'm trying to do an Ultimate Paris bookstore tour. And if it's already up, I'm gonna put it over here. But if it's not, keep an eye out for it because it's gonna be good. And I tried to visit some of the best bookstores here in Paris. I have this list of books that I got from watching um, Jack in the Books video who is one of my favorite YouTubers and it just makes it so much more easier for me to not take too long in the bookstore but I kind of do anyway. <laughs> I stopped by one of the few places that I know that sell iced coffee which is Cafe Kitsune and I got myself an iced caramel latte with oat milk I believe. It was really comforting to think that with the seasons changing and leaves turning, it felt like I was getting better and feeling a little bit more like myself every day. This is such a cool glow up from the last time I was here. I can kind of walk now, which is really cool and I'm so happy. And I still use an e-scooter, but I definitely have a lot more mobility. Famous authors like Hemingway and Oscar Wilde have captured what autumn truly is like in Paris so much better than I can even attempt to, but I can try to describe this specific one. For me, it felt like an exhale after a particularly long day. And even though everything is dying, somehow, as cheesy as it sounds, I've never felt more alive.